Have you ever found yourself midway through an inspection as an area you can't quite reach with your inspection device? I'm going to show you how we can get around that. I've, this is the component I'm looking to use. As we can see, I've already done my alignment with the component. The next thing I'm looking to do then is to go and carry out a form inspection, taking points on the fly. I'm carrying out the inspection on the top face. So just capturing some positional points. And I'm looking to capture the face on the left hand side and immediately the device is showing a message indicating we have reached the limits of the inspection device. So what I'm going to do, rather than stop there, I'm going to capture all the information I need for that top face. So what I'm looking to do there is to capture some information on that rear face and the side face. And for me to do this, I'm now going to use an option to reposition my inspection device. We get access to this through the Tools tab. Then click on the tracking icon. There's an icon on there which allows you to populate the tracking dialog window. There's an option on there now. We're going to follow the default option. As we can see, there are two options we can use. We can define three spheres or three singular points. This is the option I intend to use. I now need to go and identify those three positions. We say next. We are now prompted to go and move the inspection device. The one thing you need to make sure here is when you move the device, that you've moved it enough so the probe can get into all the areas you're looking to inspect. I just want to highlight, of having moved my device, when I now bring the probe over the component, we can see the position of my probe is not over those three holes. So we can see that we're out of position for the moment. So I'm now identifying those three positions in the same order as I did previously. So we say next. Now we can see there's some options there when we calculate any deviation from one position to the next, and we have a very little difference between the two positions. And we can see immediately the probe is now sitting over those three locations. So midway through my inspection, there's no need for me to go back to the beginning and start all over again. We can reposition the device and then carry on with the inspection. So I'm now carrying out the inspection on that rear face a circular cutout. And the left hand side. 